Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of News in Motion. Today is Tuesday, February 27th, 2024. We are getting ready to end another month. This The year just started and this already feels like it's far and by. Um, but as we are getting ready to wrap up yet another month and especially Black History Month, um, we are also going to stay informed with all the news involving the upcoming election. Um, if this is your first time tuning into News in Motion, first off, we just want to say thank you for your support. Thank you for tuning in. Welcome. Thank you for joining us here live at 7.25 a.m. Or if you're catching a replay, whether it be in the afternoon, the evening, or the nighttime, we just want to say still thank you for your love and for your support. We can be found on LinkedIn, YouTube. Uh, we're still going to be on Facebook until March 1st. Y'all heard it out here. We will still be on Facebook until March 1st, but then we're going to need y'all to make that jump over to YouTube. We will put the YouTube link in the chat uh, for you all to have access to it. But on March 1st, we will be only found on LinkedIn, YouTube, and audio and podcast. So for our Facebook you, uh, viewers, this is your last week to tune into News and Motion on Facebook. We need y'all to make that jump over to the YouTube. Join the rest of the family over here on the Red Brand. Um, well, with that being said, we're going to give us a few shout outs before we get started. Good morning to you, Miss Deborah Johnson. Good morning, Dr. Antoinette. Good morning, Miss Mary, Miss Marion Jackson. Good morning, uh, Miss Adrian. Good morning, Miss Chardinia. Good morning, Dr. Kim Carter. Uh, good morning, Miss Kim Edmondson. She also typed that's happening Tuesday. Uh, good morning, Miss Yvonne Garner. And good morning, Miss Shirley Nicholson, who is tuning in through Facebook. So, without further delay, make sure y'all grab your paper. Make sure you grab a print. Make sure that you invite a friend. And let's get ready for some news in motion. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm like, look at the hair like, okay, it just is real, it's getting too curly, but anyway, it is what it is. I see you, uh, Stephanie Burbridge Hall. I see you, Lori. I see you, Felicia. Uh, and Adrian has the music playing. Thank you. Thank you, Shirley. Shirley. YouTube. It's youtube.com backslash Gail Dudley. And you can stay there today, but next, my next Tuesday, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Love you, Shirley. All right, y'all. First, let me just be transparent. If you're like, well, she don't look too well today. Let me tell y'all what happened. Hi, see my brother. Little Spur the Third. Okay, so listen. And y'all know me by now. I'm very transparent. So yesterday I woke up and I was like, man, I really don't feel like great. But I knew it wasn't like the sickness that I had before. And I just ignored it and kept going. Well, the longer it went, Kim Evans says it's very, it is so, and I don't, I didn't do anything different. So I don't know what's happening. So I kept going throughout the day and I was like, man, I don't, I don't, I don't feel good, but it wasn't like sickness. It was like, there was this sharp pain and it was like driving me nuts. So, um, right about six o'clock or whatever. Hey, Judy, I put some ice on the pain. I don't know why I did that it exacerbated what was happening. Well, I found out about mm, eight o'clock last night, nine o'clock last night, that I had kidney stones. Have y'all ever had kidney stones? Like seriously? Oh my God. I was like screaming like, oh Lord, help me. I called Jesus's name so many times last night. I have not been asleep. And I said, my husband said, are you really going to do the show? I said, yeah, I love them. We got to do the show because we got something to talk about. So we may not be on here long, y'all, because it's not all the way through. So if I like jump up and really scream, don't be alarmed. Okay. Don't be alarmed. Y- y'all can throw some prayers my way. Just go ahead and pray for me. But I've heard people say they've had these things. Yvonne Gardner said they had me on the floor. Pain is unbearable. Listen. 
whoever lies and say, oh, you can just, no. I was like, where did this come from? And so, of course, I'm on the portal with the, the nurses, the online doctors, remember, help me, please. And they were like, well, have you changed your diet? And I was like, well, yeah, I'm trying to get healthy. They're like, that's probably what did it. Why? So I went from potato chips to almonds. So I mentioned almonds. I said, I'm eating almonds like all the time. That's like my snack, getting away from the potato chips. They were like, that's probably what did it. What? Listen. Listen, it's the worst. It's the, it's like right there in the back on the side. And it's kind of calmed down just a little bit, but we'll see what's happening. So I just wanted to be honest with y'all. Thank you, Felicia. Thank you, Stephanie. But I also wanted to be honest with y'all to say this to y'all. I am on here because I love y'all. Seriously. So I don't know what the curly hair is. I don't know if it's from the sweat screaming all night or what. My husband was like, babe, I can't do anything for you. And I was like, I know, just get out the room so I can keep screaming on my own. So anyway, y'all, it's That's Happening Tuesday. How are you doing? It is Tuesday, February the 27th, 2024. I am your host, Gail Dudley, and I am excited to hang out with you today again, again. I love you. I love you. I love you. All right, y'all. South Carolina results. That's where I want to start. And then we're going to go in and talk about uh, Buttercup for a minute. So oh, I see you, Terrell Lewis. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. If you're wondering where everyone's at, they're over here on YouTube. Just go to youtube.com backslash Gail Dudley. Make sure you hit the bell and subscribe and come on over there. Y'all can hang out on Facebook this week. Y'all got today, tomorrow, and Thursday, and we are truly going over to Facebook. Do y'all know how long I've been trying to get y'all to, not Facebook, to YouTube? Do y'all know how long I've been trying to get y'all over there? Like, remember I said this about two years ago, like, we're not going to, we're really doing it. We're really taking a leap. We're really taking a leap. I see you, Regina Shorts. All right, y'all, Nikki Haley, she's like, I ain't going over. I don't know if she knows something or what, but she's like, I'm not going anywhere. So she now has a t-shirt that says, make America normal again. I said, well, that's how you play the game, girlfriend. That's how you play the game. So she's got a t-shirt. She says she's not going anywhere. She's like, I'm not quitting. It's going to have to go all the way to the end. And he's not happy about that at all. He's not happy. He's not having it. He's not happy. Now, I have a question, everybody. I have a question. By the way, if you're in Michigan, your uh, presidential primaries are happening today. They started at 7 a.m. this morning. They will go to 8 p.m. this evening. So the presidential primaries, both Democrat, Democrats and Republicans, your presidential primaries are today. They started at 7 a.m. in Michigan, and they go to... 8 p.m. Next week is Super Tuesday. I'll give the list of Super Tuesday tomorrow to let everyone and everyone knows uh, what's happening with Super Tuesday. Everybody else isn't on Super Tuesday. For example, Ohio, I think we're March the 19th. So we're going to give the list. If you received the Friday rundown, it was in the Friday rundown. Uh, yes, yeah, she calls it Make America Normal Again. Yes, that's what she called it. Mm -hmm. I see Dave Deborah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, y'all, this is the news. This is the talk. And this is where I'm going to kind of like hang what they say, hang my hat for, for a little while. I want us to discuss this. So, it's kind of like a reverse. We're kind of like having a town hall Tuesday, maybe. But yeah, we got to talk about this speech. That speech has bothered me since uh, the former guy, Donald J. Trump's speech on Friday in front of Black Republicans, okay? A lot to unpack in this speech. But just to give you an idea of what's in here, we got the lights, you know, with the lights on, all he sees and what he, who he doesn't see, the tennis shoes on Fox, um, the whole conversation about the tennis shoes, them gold tennis shoes on Fox. And just to give you a little background on that uh, piece there, uh, the commentators and they had him call in was talking about, um, you know, he has he has sneakers and black people like sneakers. And, and so black people are going to vote for him because he has a sneaker. Are you kidding me right now? Whatever that is. Then he talked about criminals in his speech on Friday. So I want to unpack this a little bit. I just I, there's no way I can just ignore this speech. And I put a post up on um, sa Saturday because I was just like, I, what is happening right now? Like what is what is literally happening right now? So in South Carolina, um, y'all know he made a comment 
Um, and I don't know why he keeps making it. And I have his speech, too. So I'm going to get to that speech where he accepted the uh, the nomination, not the nomination, his win, his victory speech on Saturday. Oh, oh, pin on it. Uh, Dr. Ashnett, you still on here? Yeah, we got a problem. And I alerted us on this earlier this year from the Iowa caucus. Their polls closed at 7 p.m. How are you going to tell me the winner at 7.02 in a few seconds? Whatever that is, y'all, we have to start reaching out to whomever, the election commission, whomever, and say, okay, cut this out. There's no way you have numbers. I don't care if it's tally, and you should not be using AI with voting. So tell me how you were able to get those numbers in two minutes. Tell me how, when there were people still in lines across the state of South Carolina, she says, I'm here. Help me understand how did you arrive at calling that victory with with people still in line at 702? Yeah, there's a problem. So once again, we had a lot of young people who were like going to vote on their way to go party saying, well, then my vote doesn't matter because we were in line. They called the election. We had not cast our ballot yet. What is really going on here, y'all? That's a problem. That is a problem. And people are saying they're not going to go stand in line if they know that this election is going to be called within just a couple of minutes. There's something that's not making any sense with that. You're right, Lord. She said, so they counted every vote in one minute to it. No, they didn't. People were still in line. There's a problem with that. Okay, so I want to go back to this speech. Just had to get that out there because that's not making any sense to me. Uh, Former uh, President Donald Trump claimed that black people like him because he faced discrimination in the legal system, which is something they can relate to. What? Yeah, that has bothered me for a moment. Now, I see you, Deborah Sneed. Good morning. Good morning. So, glad to, so great to see you. That bothers me. Um, first off, I, I just really hope that people are not playing into that and people aren't just jumping on rhetoric and people are truly getting an understanding of who they're voting for and why they are voting for these people. Good morning. Good morning. Um, and then and here's a quote. I got indicted the second time and a third time and a fourth time. And a lot of people said that's why the black people like me because they had been hurt so badly and discriminated against, and they actually viewed me as being discriminated against, he said. That's his direct quote. Well, let me remind you all, and you, Google is your friend, okay? And I'm going to, and I'll probably lose a whole lot of people on Friday for their Friday rundown, but I don't care. I, I don't care. I, I really don't care anymore. Um, so if I lose everybody but two people on my Friday rundown, peace, two fingers, whatever. But I'm going to put down there all what things we should remember. And one of the things that we should remember is that both he and his daddy discriminated with housing when it comes to black and brown people. Now, that's the truth. He hasn't changed. Okay. He has not changed. He just wants your vote right now. That's what's really happening. And we're going to speak truth to power. Okay. So don't forget that. Okay. And I, I got the other piece. So just hold on. Just hold on. He also says in the quote, I'm being indicted for you. No, you're not. You're being indicted because you're a criminal and because you're wrong. Okay. Because you're trying to uh, uh, do things that are illegal. That's why you're being indicted. Okay. That's why. That's why. That's why. Um, the, uh, then he goes on in this quote and says, I'm being indicted for you, the black population. I'm being indicted for a lot of different groups by sick people. These are sick people, sick people. Um, so then he was before the Black Conservative Federation Annual Gala, um, which he received a Champion of Black America Award. Say what? Like, I just really want to know, like, are you okay? Like, is this a joke to you? Like, help me understand what's really happening here. And then he just, he, and I'm not going to go through all the points. I already know about the lights, you know, the lights and all I see. I can't even see the white people. He's saying these things, y'all. Those things are racist. 
Okay. Yes, Latrice Jones. That's I am done. I am so done. You know, I've tried to be nice. I tried to be fair and balanced. I'm gonna continue to be fair and balanced, but we're gonna call this stuff out. We're really gonna call these things out. We are. We really are. Um vote for if you don't want to vote for Joe, vote for somebody else. Write yourself in, okay? But understand what's I'm not I'm not even done. Let me not go there yet. So then so then um he goes on to say some of the greatest evils in our nation's history have come from corrupt systems that try to target and subjugate others to deny them their freedom and to deny them their rights. Did you really say that? Who is calling for mass deportation as soon as you get into the office? Huh? Who who uh, immediately, where there were protests outside of JFK, uh, LaGuardia, O'Hare, uh, LAX, when you were trying to make sure people didn't come in, do you not remember those things that you said and did? Who went out to the middle of the street after the murder, the murder of George Floyd with your upside down Bible and then talking about two Corinthians at another speech rally? Really? What, what are we talking about here? Seriously, seriously, dude, seriously. And then you go on to say in his quote, I think that's why black people are so much on my side because they see what's happening to me to them. You can't compare us. We are apples and oranges and you're the orange, okay? You're the orange. Most times sour, you're the orange. You got a bunch of seeds and stuff in you. That's not making any sense. It is It is destroying the country. It's destroying the world. That's you. That's who you are. We are the apples. We're sweet. We got a crunch and we got a bite. You keep messing with us. I said what I said. That's why y'all might need to come on over here on YouTube because I am not having it anymore. I know Facebook about to shut me down. So y'all come on over to YouTube, youtube.com backslash Gail Dudley. We got to talk about these things. He is making a mockery out of us. And if we fall for this stuff, it's our fault. It is our fault. Yvonne Gardner says, I wonder if Tim Scott actually heard and comprehended. Tim Scott was in the room. What are you talking about? He will continue to stand behind him. It's just it's crazy. What's up? Good morning, Davia. She says, he remembers, he's calculating. Uh, thank you, because I can't say. He's calculating and, and his base is on board. Yes. It's like, y'all, like, wake up, wake up. I had somebody ask me a question the other day. Uh, this was Saturday, I think, Sunday. I don't know. Um, wow, it's funny. Like, when you get real excited, like, I can't even feel that kidney stone at the moment. I'm like, ooh, I didn't know. My husband's like, what are you going to do if you start screaming in the middle of your show? I'm going to just start screaming. I'm going to just let them know it's a kidney stone. I'm going to just start screaming. But it's kind of like subsided because I got that excited. Uh, Dr. Antoinette said the following are my words. They are not the being of Gail Dudley nor News in Motion. Mass of Mupp Muppets will continue to support of him. I'm free. Listen, listen, let's talk about these things, y'all. So I had this question. They said, what if your daughter, I said, first of all, my daughter wouldn't. I said, first of all, she has a right to vote for whoever she wants to. But I've heard enough of her that that's not, that's not her choice. And they were like, what about like some of her friends? I said, I know there's a lot of millennials that are jumping onto this stuff. And I, so my personal Facebook page, as long as I can, because I know they're coming for me. I know they're coming for me. I'm going to keep posting everything that's going with Everything that's being passed, what's being held up. So that has m the majority of followers on that page. I'm going to start using that page until they shut me down. I have been very careful only to put like friends and family and fun things, this, that, and the other on that page. Oh, no, it's a new ball game because we have to do what we need to do to communicate and speak and share the truth. Somebody else mentioned, I think this is just like the black people just playing around. And I said, don't play. We don't have time for playing. Play the the playground stuff is when you were in elementary school. We're no we're no longer in elementary school. This is our lives. This is democracy that's on the table right now. And y'all, we best we best wake up. I got some more, y'all. He keep talking. He said, um, "My mug shot." Yeah, y'all, this is another one that just blew me away. My mugshot. We've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anyone else? The black population. Y'all, these are his words, not mine. These are his words. I'll read that one again. My mugshot. We've all seen the mugshot. And you know who embraced it more than anybody else? The black population. 
he goes on in that quote to say, you see black people walking around with my mug shot. You know, uh, they do shirts and they sell them for $19 a piece. It's pretty amazing. Millions, by the way. Yeah, right there should just make you scream. First of all, you're saying that we go take your mugshot and make 10 t-shirts and charge $19 a piece. And you think that's amazing. And you say it's, it's, it's millions behind that. Y yes, Kim. Yes, Kim. His, and y'all y'all can fact check me all you want to. Google is your friend. Just don't go to AI. Go to Google and fact check it. Go to the, go to the, uh, you go to YouTube. Y'all on YouTube, go to YouTube, uh, go put that in there. It'll pop up. You'll have his actual speech. Okay. Now it's funny because you can't find transcripts of his speech. Okay. Cause no one can ever follow him. So you just go, you listen. I was sitting there like rewinding, making sure I had all my quotes correct so that I can give these quotes to you. All right. Um, so this is what's happening now. Um, I just can't believe this. He says, um, uh, ugh, this is Tim Scott, and this is the uh, also the vice chair of New York Young Republican Black Caucus. Uh, this guy name is Adam uh, Waysolis, uh, senior, age 33. He says, I'm like, who your mama? Because she needs to pop you upside your head. He says, I definitely understand. Why some black men feel the feel uh, they resonate with his issues because most of the issues they have plagued black men are legal issues. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, you know, he's already threatened everybody that we can't do this, and just threaten me. I don't care. Um, but I want to remind y'all something. I'm not putting the actual image up here through our feed. I'm using it from my iPad. Don't y'all forget this full page ad that came out, you know, the Central Park Five. Don't y'all forget this. And I, I really want to start. I was going to post it, but then he threatened everybody on, on Truth Social. If we post that or use that, he'll sue us. Okay, so I'm not going to use it that way. I'm pretty bright. I'm pretty brilliant myself. Buttercup. So I'm going to just show it this way. And then I'm going to just email it to people and remind people. Did y'all forget this? I might want to read this full page ad that he took out in the New York Times of what he thought about Central Park Five. Okay. Let's talk about that. And y'all want to sit there with grinning and, and, and dealing with him. Y'all better wake up. Seriously, this is our country. Because what's going to happen when he gets in there? And 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 he's going to be a dictator, he says, day one. He's going to be a dictator. He's going to forget all about you all because he has used all of you. Uh, Kim, Dr. Kim Carter said, Gail Dudley is on. Listen, listen. I, I, I just, I can't, I, 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 seriously, seriously. We, we need to educate our people and we got to remind them, y'all. We have to remind, this is serious. I was watching a program yesterday uh, on MSNBC, Nicole Wallace is back. Welcome back, Nicole Wallace, if you ever see this episode. But but Nicole Wallace is back um, after she was off, I think, three months. And she had a, a group of people who used to work for the uh, Trump administration. And they're all sending warning signals. They were all sharing information. Y'all, we cannot sleep on that. We cannot sleep. Let's just ask this. Where's Melania? Just asking for a friend. Asking for a friend. Where's Melania? Where, where's Melania? Where is she? So I don't want to harp on that, but I wanted to throw these things out here. I was pretty fired up. I wanted us to talk about it because, y'all, these things we cannot ignore. We cannot ignore these things at all. We cannot. And we need to have, start having conversations. You know, as you want to have book clubs or you want to have mimosa mornings or you want make sure this is the topic of the conversation. Read Liz Cheney's book. I still want to do a book club on that. I still want to do one. We can do it before summer. I think it's so important that we read her book. I'm serious about this. We need to, there's just so much going on. And then let's not 
let's not ignore where we're facing a shutdown again. So uh, President Biden has to call in the, the four main leaders to have a conversation at the White House because now we have the shutdown and watch the spin. Uh, Kim, you can say, yeah, where's, where's Melania? Seriously. Uh, watch the spin already. Speaker Johnson is standing up behind that, uh, that microphone saying the Democrats won't work with us. Uh, we, we've been doing this, this, and the other. Now that we have a, 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 a 50, 50, uh, a chamber, they're not coming on our side. They don't want to work with us. No, dude, no, no. You could have passed this the last time before it became 50, 50. Actually it's 50, 40. Nine, if you want to be exact, that's the correct number. So you even don't, don't even know your facts. It's 5049. And you could have passed this before now. But this is a part of your this is a part of your game plan. You wanted to make it seem like it's the Democrats. So we got to keep reminding people what's happening. And by the way, for station identification, if you're just now joining us here on News and Motion, let me be very clear. Let me be very clear. I split tickets all the time. I go by facts. I vet people. But right this moment, because of what's happening, there's a border plan, uh, Speaker Johnson, dead on arrival. When when everyone said, even people on the other side, this is a great plan. Well, because Buttercup wants to run on this plan, nope, dead on arrival. So then he's going to blame President Biden, if President Biden signs an executive order, because people are saying, why don't he just sign an executive order? If he does that, then he's going to be blamed for he's he's heavy on executive orders. And see, again, 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 Democrats, get your messaging right. Get your messaging right. Run on what you've been doing. Run on what you know. It's right there at your fingertips. I report it here on News in Motion every day. And it's always in the Friday rundown. If I can do it, surely you can do it. So you pay me, I'll come do it for you. If you're looking for somebody to do the job, y'all, we got to get this under control. So they're spinning. They're stalling. Nothing's getting done because now their excuse is, well, the Democrats won't follow us. Are you serious? Sit down somewhere. And Johnson, let me just be honest with you. They're real close to being through with you. And so you won't make moves because if you make the move, they're going to get rid of you. Then there's not going to be a speaker again. Who's ever heard of this job? You have not seen the chaos in the chambers in this season. You're asleep and you must wake up. Uh, Kim Edmonds says they've been really quiet about the shutdown, very quiet about it, very, and they're really, really close to shutting it down. It's so quiet. And again, they were only funding it for what, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. And I believe it was all a setup for the election time where they will be able to try to negotiate. And right now I think it's just going to be gridlocked because they're like, we ain't, at this point, I'm with my King Jeffries, whatever. <laughs> like, look, we we can, let's see, we can get through primaries. And I would say by May, June, we're going to have to boots on the ground, y'all. We're going to be knocking on doors. I know that's probably dangerous today. Making phone calls, sending postcards, wearing T-shirts, whatever, whatever. Whatever. Uh, Marion Jackson, I need your address, by the way. You sent me the email, but I need your address so you can get it. So, all right, so let me keep on going to other news. Is this making sense to y'all? Is this making sense to y'all? What's up, Amanda Smith? Is this making sense to y'all? I mean, if y'all wondering on um, Facebook why many people aren't there, we're all on YouTube. Y'all got until this is it for Facebook on this week. We over there on YouTube, youtube.com backslash Gail Duddy. It took me two years to get us all over there, but it is. All right, y'all, CNBC reports, and this is very important. The U.S. Federal Trade Commission in nine states have sued uh, to block the supermarket chain Kroger's uh, 25 mil, billion, excuse me, 25 billion acquisition of competitors, Albertsons, yesterday, arguing the move would raise prices, lower wages, and reduce co uh, competition in the industry. Now, y'all, the proposed deal first announced in 2022 would be the largest in supermarket chain history. Now, I did some digging. Y'all do know Kroger, Kroger and them had a relationship like in the beginning. And then they split, and now they're trying to acquire them. Kroger's trying to acquire them. Um, 
Now, I know some of y'all don't like this. And my husband cracks up at me. We did this recently. We go to check out. He's like, what? where are you going? I said, mm -mm, mm -mm. I need these people to keep jobs. So we got to go get a cashier to check us out. He's like, girl, come on. Nope. Mm -mm. We are literally standing there. I'm like, uh-uh. He's like, there's a few items. We're holding them in our hand. No. Get in the line so we can check out. And we did. He was like, you're serious about this, aren't you? I said, I can't talk about it if I'm not doing it. So we, we did that. And the lady said, thank you. So then it was funny. She says, now bags are 10 cents. I said, trust me, I'm going to carry, carry this stuff. We carried it in the line. We're going to carry it out of here. But y'all, there's so much, so much that's happening within these supermarkets and grocery stores um, that that are they're they're unbelievable. Um, Kroger, if this goes through, would control 13% of U.S. grocery market. Uh, claim the merger would enable them to better compete and do, uh, with with dominant retailers such as Walmart, Costco, and Amazon. So they're fighting for this. Uh, the lawsuit comes six months after Am after Kroger sought to mitigate scrutiny of a deal by divesting 400 of its stores in a move the FTC claims in its lawsuit will not increase competition. So y'all pay attention to that because we also have the plain mergers that did not go through. We also have um, some Microsoft stuff of merger, with, with which is a $70 billion acquisition. There's a lot that's happening. And we got some uh, uh, reports this week on inflation that's happening. I believe it's on Thursday morning. Y'all watch what's about to happen. Now, thanks to Kim Edmondson, who told me everything I need to know. Y'all better hire her to coach y'all when it comes to stocks and investments. And y'all need to go check out uh, Build a Bag with Cassandra Cummings. I didn't talk to y'all about that. But listen, I now see all the connections with the finances and the news. And I want all of us to be educated and get the same connections, y'all. It's just as important. It's not just what's happening in the chambers. It's also what's happening on the Dow, what's happening on NASDAQ, what's happening on Wall Street, what's happening with jobs, what's happening with inflation. All of this is just as important. And I can't thank Kim enough two years ago enlightening me with all of this. And I'm now inserting this into all the news because it affects all of us. Absolutely all of us. All right, y'all, ABC News is reporting. Then we're going to get out of here. The Albert Einstein College of Medicine announced it received a $1 billion donation from a 93-year-old former professor. Yes, y'all, the gift will provide free education um, for 737 medical students in the school Unbelievable. Annual tuition there is 59000 per year. Almost half the students are owing more than 200000 upon graduation. And then you have the Supreme Court, and this is where I'm going to land. I'll go on an inspirational message because y'all, this, this kidney stone is starting to trip a little bit. I'm trying to keep a smile going. I'm trying to keep a smile going. So if I go like this, I'm really like pushing through this kidney stone. Y'all, the Supreme Court, I just love y'all. That's why I'm here today. I just love y'all. I was like, nope, nope, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. The Supreme Court on yesterday appeared to have a deep concern for the state's law enacted in Florida and Texas that would prohibit social media platforms. Uh, dealing with political views. As y'all know, that's what's happening. That's what's happening with us on Facebook right now. Latrice Jones says, can we shout for those students? Yeah, girl, let's shout. Let's do a dance. Let's do a praise dance for them. Um, and oh, thank you, Mary. Mary said, I never do self-checkout for the same. Girl, no, I want people to keep their jobs. Alrighty, AI about to take over everything. So y'all, that's what's happening with us. So they 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 just have deep concerns. The high stakes battle uh, gives the nation's highest court, and this is coming from CNN, uh, an enormous say in how millions of Americans get their news and information, as well as whether sites such as Facebook, they named them, Instagram, YouTube, uh, TikTok, should be able to make their own decisions about how to moderate spam, hate speech, and election misinformation. But the problem is, and I was reading different um, alerts on this, the problem is they're lumping everybody who's not on a, a MSNBC or Fox or CNN or whomever as people who will possibly give you misinformation. We fact check here all the time. What are you talking about? So it's sad that they've grouped all of us in saying that we're going to, you know, 
because we're not regulated, we'll be giving them misinformation or disinformation. No, y'all give misinformation and disinformation on Fox News all day, every day. How about that? So can we start there? But Facebook is starting to shut us down. Uh, Instagram is shutting us down. Uh, not just us, anybody that's digital, okay? So you you have to find us on the YouTubes and and or our own websites or things like that. We've been looking at, I'll give you a little bit of insight. Uh, we just, we cannot financially do it at the moment. And that's why y'all wonder like why we ask like, well, you know, does Gail need the money? Gail doesn't, no. But the work that we're doing, yes. Because trust me, God does bless me every day, any day. But the work that we're doing, yes. So when we want, when we get, and we've gotten offers, when we get an offer from Hulu, or we get an offer from Roku and we open up that package. Oh no, no, there's no one give you 10 grand a day. Like we don't even have that. We don't even have the support or the backing to be able to do that. But that's another possibility. And if it grows to that, cool. And remember, I've only made my commitment to get us through the election this year because, because of everything that's happening in the AI and the more research we have to do and so from plus I love y'all. Uh, Lori says, we appreciate you, sis, and your sacrifice. Latrice Jones says, God is faithful and will do it suddenly. Holly, listen, please get this, get this kidney stone, please. So um, Justice Roberts says, the First Amendment restricts what the government can do. Now they will talk about the First Amendment. Okay. And then he goes on to say what the government's doing here is saying you must do this. You must carry these people. You've got to explain if you don't. That is not the First Amendment. That's his direct quote. Um, so they're not going to regulate these social media platforms. Um, and they'll allow them to take people off for whatever reason without even them being able to uh, have an argument as to why or what or to go against their ruling. So that's where we stand. Um, so a word of caution, because this is happening, you're going to see more and more shows pop up with disinformation and misinformation. And depending upon the way the wind blows, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and others, threads and others will determine if they're going to leave them up or take them down. And that's the part that I even believe that Congress is upset about because they get to choose, which is their right. They own the platforms. They get to choose who they're keeping, but they're opening up the floodgates to allow all of these places to come in who are uh, purposely not giving you facts. They're purposely wanting to confuse you. Just take earlier uh, this month when in um, South Carolina, when they were telling the Democratic uh, Democrats uh, presidential primary that it was on a different day. And it was all over different social media. We came here because remember I said, I haven't seen so many days. I had to contact the election commission department in South Carolina to get the truth. And then I brought you all the truth. These are the things that are happening. So y'all find your trusted source and stick with it. All right, y'all need y'all pray for me because it's really starting to kick my butt now. So let me give you a quick inspirational message and I'm out of here until tomorrow. The inspirational message is this. And y'all, it's very familiar. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Y'all, we got to quiet the noise. We got to silence the noise. There's too much. There's too much. All this rhetoric, rhetoric, we need to silence it. And the way we silence it is by calling it out. Even if people don't like us after we call it out, they just don't like us. Here's the truth. They probably didn't like you in the first place. So just go ahead and call it out. Um, I wish I would hear somebody I know talking about, I'm getting ready to vote for Donald Trump. I'm going to be like, have you lost your mind? I'm going to take them to the polls with me, stand behind them and make sure they vote. However, other way, but not for that dude. I'm joking. I'm not doing that. But listen, we do have to educate the people. Y'all, we have to stand up. We have to educate. We have to help. It is so, so important. So will you join me in educating our community? Yeah, we want to do our civic engagement tours that we did with uh, Ready Publication in 2016. We want to come to a city near you. 
to be able to have these conversations. Um, we just need you to have the space and then we'll figure out how we're going to get there so that we can do our two hour conversations. People as, uh, ask questions or whatever. Or if you know people that are already in your city or state and, and you know that there's something that's great happening, go ahead and announce it or send us the announcements. We will announce it here for people to get to those locations. This is not a one man show, okay? One woman show. This is a community thing that we need to get this information out there. All right, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, y'all. That's all I have for today. I am your host, Gail Dudley. This has been News in Motion. Y'all know what I say. Y'all stay well. And remember, Make some bold moves. We are out. Motion, motion, motion. motion. motion.